Hey, good morning, Boomer Rangers. It's Boomer Ranger Ron here. Welcome to uh, my test firing. We're going to be test shooting today. If you remember, the last time we were at the reloading bench, we did some custom 20 gauge slugs. We did some two and three quarter, and we did some three inch. We did a we did a variety of different um, we did a variety of different products here. Test trying to find some. The two on the left have a 300 grain Nosler. Uh, the two on the right are the uh, Dangerous Game slugs, the DGS slugs. Um, these have a 290 grain Barnes TZX. That's a all, all copper bullet with a nylon head. And uh, we have 29 grains of blue dot in this one. Now, before we get started, we'll probably start and just shoot one shot with standard ammo, standard ammo 1,600 feet per second. Uh, and we'll, uh, we have the chronograph set up. It's about 9.15. It's about 9.15 right now. And the club rules are you can shoot from 10 o'clock to sunset during the week. So I did get, uh, I did get a little ahead of myself today because I wanted to be sure I could get all set up before anybody came. Because I'm also a range safety officer, and I have to follow all the rules. Anyhow, here's our bench. Here's our shooting platform. Uh, here's the chronograph. It's set up. I bought a new. Uh, I bought a new set of these. This is the older one. I'll walk down and just show you what the uh, targets are going to look like at 50 yards. It's a beautiful day. I think it's about 35 degrees. But it feels warmer than that. To check the temperature one more time before we start recording our results. So, I'm the only one here. I don't have to worry about anybody clearing the range, putting on the signs or whatever. These are the targets we're going to shoot today. I don't have them labeled. This is target number one, target number two, target number three, four, and five. This is one I really feel good and I know I'm accurate, we'll shoot at this one. Uh, anyhow, so stay tuned. This should be very exciting. We've never done 20 gauge custom hand-loaded cartridges using brand new, brand new primed hulls. Obviously a gas seal, powder, wad columns, and then the actual projectile that goes in the, in the sabot. I think the French call it sabot which means shoe in uh, French and it it's it holds the uh, it holds the projectile so this should be a lot of fun hopefully we've paid attention to all the rules we haven't exceeded any expectations and we'll be checking the pressure levels uh, constantly as we're shooting here okay stay tuned folks okay boomers we're about ready to start this test I'm a range safety officer now here at the club so I have to follow all the rules most everybody with only four more minutes would probably say that's okay. But um, it's 9.57. You've got three minutes until I can legally shoot here at the club. You can shoot during the week from 10 a.m. until sunset. We're going to be testing, as I said earlier, we're going to be testing the custom loads I did in 20 gauge in the Savage. The Savage 220, it's a fully rifled shotgun and uh, superb accuracy out to a couple hundred yards. Today we'll be running the chronograph and we'll be shooting the sight in at, um, at 50 yards. I'll be taking out my bionic ears. I'll be putting on a headset. Part of the club rules, you obviously must wear safety glasses. And... Uh, as I said, it's 9.57, three more minutes. We can start this 20 gauge test, so do stay tuned. 9.59, and we're gonna get started. The first shot we're gonna take is standard factory load, and uh, we'll see how that goes on the target. 30 seconds, we're gonna fire. This is the Winchester solid copper bullet, two and three quarter inch shell, standard. It is officially 10 o'clock. We're gonna start this test. 
Sixteen hundred and thirty-one feet per second, and uh, I'm just going to walk over and see where that hit. And push this button, and that's a reset. All right, so we had some great results today. I can take off my headset so I can hear you better. The only thing that didn't perform well was the three-inch. So, boomers, to close out this section. This session of the 20 gauge hand load reload we had results all over the place the DGS load did especially well I pulled the third shot but those two are pretty close I mean that's basically center to center inch and a half our initial factory load with the SST did well our reloaded Nosler did especially well right here in the center this was my first shot. This, you know, sometimes when you try to create these loads, especially with slugs, you find that the factory performs better. That's one shot, 50 yards, Remington Copper Solids. The DGS, the Dangerous Game Slugs were interesting as well. Um, I'll have to revisit now the one thing that did not work well and that was the three inch using a 290 grain barn, uh, Barnes copper TEZ there's a little bit of a bulge right at the top here and as a result it won't chamber these are gonna have to be opened up and remade all right, that's it for today. We're going to pack up the gear. The uh, chronograph worked nicely. That last shot, interestingly enough, came out at 1361. And um, the box said 1500. Go figure, right? All righty, that's it. Bye.